time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. We're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our live, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to blank. Hey! Hey everyone, welcome to Power Hour Live. Last trading day of June, June 28th. Hope everybody is surviving the swings. New all-time high today in SPX, but currently down 15. NASDAQ down 32, Russell unchanged, Dow uh, down 172, gold unchanged, silver up a little bit, notes and bonds red, 10-year yield up 1%. Oil down a half percent, natty gas down three, soybeans unchanged, wheat and corn red, uh, euro, and the pound, uh, euro and the pound pretty flat, Bitcoin down 1%, VIX up a little over 1%, sitting at 12.38. Just got in a uh, quad 40, which is what you see on my screen here. I got smoked out on that up move this morning on my 3.2 my 1DTE and my 1 to 1. I uh, turned a couple of price action trades into, um, I transformed them into risk free condors, which I'll, which I'll show you. And then the quad 40, which I just, uh, which I just opened. I did not do a Wooga just because I've got some strikes taken here. But, uh, so there, so that's my quad 40. So the, uh, I posted in the transformer channel, but I, uh, I did this one here and then transformed it into a risk-free, uh, downside condor. So that one needs to get below 5460 to hit max. And then the other one I did was this one here. I transformed it with that. So I'm right, uh, got to be below 5470 to hit max. My uh, my long call didn't have a bid, so I just that's why I'm showing you a three legged little transformation there. So I actually have a little call kicker here if we were to if world peace were to happen and we explode back higher. Um, so that is it for me. What's going on with you, Chad? It's been an interesting day here. Um, I don't feel like I've traded all that bad. Um, let's see. So basically, my one. I would DTA, say you could trade I good trade in this in, in this price action and still lose. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, my one DTE um, barely survived. I think I was about thirty cents from getting stopped on that up move. And I mentioned in the chat that um, I I decreased my size and I increased my stop. Um, so that helped it. Um, but I ended up booking 40% and out on that. Uh, in fact, it closed out and I wasn't even paying attention. I, it was pretty centered. I might've actually lowered the, lowered it and taken some more profits, but anyway, ended up being a $1,500 winner, uh, not as big as usual again, cause I only did six contracts, but, um, doing that and increasing the stop, say it, it saved me. Uh, then I had two full stops. You know, both of them were, you know, got stopped and then it reversed. And, you know, so there's not much you can do about that. Um, I had an AM number three that was a 2040 and then stopped. So that was a plus 1680. Nice winner. And I'm currently in a lunchtime number one and a power hour number one. I've booked 20% on both of them. So if I could get 40% on these, I, you know, I could, I could probably get close to a green day here. Um, it's pretty so, good. Yeah. So not real upset. I did take a Wooga in my other account. And believe it or not, in my other account, I've had more winners. It just goes to show you, it's like 
they're not they're not they're not usually always the exact same um but i'm up on my tlc trades because just got lucky a little bit luckier with some entries um that one's look and that's the only reason i did a woo in that one otherwise i just would have just shut it down but um it's only up about 2300 bucks in that in that account so Of course, we had the debate last night, and then we had the core PCE pre-market this morning. After that report pre-market, the market really didn't do much. I mean, if we look at a five-minute chart of ES, for example. So here is the report. So we were up overnight, and it fell about five points or so, 10 points, I guess. And then this thing out of the gate just absolutely ripped. Looked like it was going to the moon, chopped around. I kind of, I posted a, in the Transformer channel, something I was looking at doing and um, really hit with the bias to the upside, thinking maybe we'd have another leg higher. And then this thing just obviously fell apart. And now we are down and moving lower towards yesterday's low. I just hit, uh, let's see, which one got filled. My power hour hit 40%. Uh, yeah, Krish, on the, I just did the one DTE and the one-to-one. -one, and then, but once once we had that move, I, I shut off any re-entry. So I just got stopped at once on my one-to-one -one and my one DTE. which ended up being a good choice. And we just absolutely knifed through that upside expected move like a hot knife through butter. So I was like, I don't think re-entries make any sense today. But now I need some downside. 5450 would be beautiful for me. <laughs> you know, that's probably not what a lot of you are wanting. It's a uh, nasty little reversal bar on the on the daily. Um almost went up and ticked the uh expected move for the year from January 1st. I have it marked at about 54.33, call it. We got up to 55.23, so within 10 points. Stocks on the green side. Lyft is up 5%. Uber's up 3 Not sure what's going on in the uh, ride-hailing space, ride-sharing space. Wells Fargo's up 3 City's up 2 so banks. JP Morgan's up one5 Banks are up. NVIDIA is green. Microsoft is basically unchanged. On the red side, DJT. Apparently the uh, shareholders of Donald J. Trump didn't like the debate. It's down 12%. Uh, SMCI down five and a half. Amazon down one and a half. Netflix down one and a half. Meta down a little over one. Tesla down a half percent. Was there anybody brave enough to get in a Wooga with me? Saw a couple Wooga posts. 
Wuga is in the Wuga. <laughs> Ride or die, huh? Let's see. Yeah. You could still get looks like you could still get fifteen wide right now on a uh, normal three dollar per side entry. Yeah, that has been that has been the nice thing about today. There have been some bigger premiums, you know, wider short strikes than normal. Yeah, the options were were a little juice this morning. I mean, the expected move to open the day was over 23, and it has been kind of like 19-ish, 19, 19 to 20 lately. So the options knew there's going to be some movement. Even after the core PCE report, I was watching VIX and VIX futures, it didn't really fall too much. Next week, Monday, pre-market, or not pre-market, but 30 minutes after the market opens, ISM manufacturing, PMI, ISM manufacturing prices. Tuesday, Powell speaks right at the open. Jolts 30 minutes after the bell. Wednesday, pre-market, ADP, non-farm employment, unemployment data. 30 minutes after the bell, ISM services. The market closes on Wednesday at noon central. But they do have the FOMC minutes being released an hour after the market closes. Thursday, market closed for the 4th of July. Friday, pre-market employment data. As I posted in the uh, positions and updates this morning, I will not be taking any calendars. My normal Friday double calendar entries, I I'll be passing on all those. My rut hedge from yesterday was up about, I don't know. Well, let's see. Where did rut go? Rut got as high as like 2056. So it was up as much as fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars $1,500. Now it's back to even after the move lower. My transformer's liking this move lower. Down at 70. I need it below 70 to hit max. Is Landon slacking again? Let him know, Ken. Tag him. Let him know.
Don't let him get away with that. There you go. <laughs> SPX going sideline to sideline today. Blew through the upper expected move, approaching the lower. What uh, what would the lower be? I have it marked at about 54.65. Yeah. Currently at 68. Oh, nice. So you're back on the calendar train. Is that what that means, Elliot? We'll just bleed out. I think I've got some longs too that I've been holding. Let's see where those are at. Nasdaq's down. Nasdaq's down to lows of day. So see if it bounces off lows of day. Got four longs from a previous trade that are, you know, they're only at 50 cents. They were, I could have got out at a dollar earlier, even though prices come down, that they was just decayed out. But I'll hold just in case. Just doesn't look like SPX wants any part of bouncing at the moment. Sorry. Although the VIX is coming down. Hovering right at uh, yesterday's lows. Yeah, 20 minutes of the VIX coming down now. It bounced twice right at this level yesterday. Yes, overnight low. Yes, overnight low is much higher than we are now. Yes, overnight low is like 55.47. Yes, is at 55.28.
looks like the last time would have been May May twenty third. That big reversal bar, I can't remember. Was that FOMC? No, that was a Thursday. I feel like there was something pre market that it jumped up and then just flushed all day. Can't remember what it was. Free market that day, there was unemployment, flash services, PMI, nothing big. Just eyeballing the chart, looks like, yeah, it would have been more than 1%, looks like. From top to bottom, definitely, but from the previous day's close, it looked like it would have been. I mean, volatile VIX has just been chopping around. It's definitely not spiking with this move lower. No fears, right? I don't put one on um, on Fridays, but my one from yesterday was a big to the upside, but now it's back to approaching the valley, back to break even. Just keeps bleeding away, which is fine with me. Bleed all you want. Bleed down to 50. My two transformers combined look like this. So below 60 would be beautiful. I didn't necessarily want 5,400. I was just questioning. Somebody posted 5,500 today, and then Morrow said, how about 5,600 <laughs> after we exploded higher? Then we reversed. I said, how about 5,400? And I need a bit of a bounce.
my uh, quad 40 is up about 4%. It's definitely been an interesting day. I thought price was just going to the moon this morning. Yeah. I mean, it was just took off. Last trading day of the month today. I am coaching baseball, DG. What are you doing? Nice, nice. Every single trade I have on could use a little bit of a bounce. Uh, I don't have my sheet in front of me, Dark Avenger. I think that's one of the last ones that I put on. I think that one's like 10 minutes to the bell. It's on my sheet if you go to the uh, calendar trade, trade plan channel. There's a little bounce coming in. Yeah, three seven is uh ten minutes before the bell. Little baby bounce. He's about up to 75. What do you got on, Chris, that you're so bearish about? Hmm.
Yeah, it didn't last long. Could bounce up to highs of day yet. <laughs> Seems like the last day of the month can get a little wild sometimes. Yeah, I was just looking at that. It's what about May 31st? I, the last few I, months have definitely been that way. Yeah, like May 31st, I remember, was a rough day. I can't remember what it did on May 31st, but. We are now halfway through the year, my friends. Crazy. That's all the bounce you can give me, huh? That's nothing. Yeah, I just remember price was all over the place on May 31st. Yeah, I was just looking at that a couple of days ago and I was cuz I was thinking the same thing. I was like, is this is this a real thing or is this just kind of recency bias? And I, it's like the last couple of months it's been that way, but I went back further and it's it's really not something that occurs all the time by any means. Oops, trying to bounce again. I need about 25 cents for my power hour to go 60% and out. And a little five wide iron condor that I was trying to transform, but I think I'm just going to close it.
about 32 and a half minutes to go at the money butterflies trading for less than a dollar about 90 cents 80 cents Interesting to see if we can get two bucks on a Mahomes fly at the end of today. Still showing about 10 points of an expected move left. NASDAQ hitting new lows of day. All right, here comes the bounce. So I can fill some profits and then it can do whatever it wants. No, just don't have it in it today, I don't think. Is that a question, Dark Avenger? Yeah, that's intentional. New lows. Yeah. Red, red incoming. There she goes. She just didn't have it in her today to get the bounce I needed. NDX now approaching its expected move low. Yeah. And yesterday's low. I wouldn't mind a little, uh, a little lower. <laughs> My uh, puts that I got for twenty cents are now with over two bucks. I'm stopped on everything. That's a bummer. You got any puts left? Uh yes, I do have long I do puts. Have, I do have puts on. I'm 
going to sell out a couple of these. $3. See if I can get $3. One more little, one more little push. Popped out of everything. There we go. Filled at three bucks on two of my four. I'm going to put in five dollars for one more. See if that hits if we really drop. Uh, looks like I got, I got stopped on my quad 40. All right. So up to my transformers to bring me back. One needs below 60. One needs below 70. So if we nope. could uh, close right here, that'd be nice. Chris, did you hit your profit target on your lotto? Let's take a look here. Nice. I did not have big slippage. Actually had about 30 cents of positive slippage. So my lunchtime went 20% and then stop. My power hour was 40% and then stop. Do not want a big bounce here. Yeah, that would that would just be insult to injury. Although the the Wooga would take a bounce. Let's 
So minus 3,480 for me to end June. Uh, my TLC and then plus 1,500. So what is that about? Minus 2K for the day. I'll take it on a day like this. Yeah. Bouncing right back up. Get back down there. That was a 20-point move. 20-point move in five minutes. Trying to decide if I want to adjust my transformer here to get more get more credit in case we keep bouncing, but I'm just gonna hold for now. Got about twenty one minutes till the bell. That may have been the little exhaustion flush though. Vic spiked up above 1275, now back to 1244. Yeah, everything. Would have been back in range for me if it wouldn't have had the 20 point drop. Frustrating. Yeah, the money butterfly still only trading for now, I'm only trading for 70 cents, maybe. SPX back above the expected move. Oh boy. Jeez. Unreal. Right back up to uh yesterday's low. Let's see if it holds below that or unreal. Yeah, it was ten points about 20 minutes ago now it's jumped up to 12 12 points left ugh not what I was wanting I was wanting that before the down move but the Wooga is right back in play
Oh, my transformers were looking so beautiful about 10 minutes ago. Yeah. All my trades would be looking beautiful. I mean, there's your bounce. There is a bounce. Yep. After I was stopped out of everything, except the Wooga. What are your center strikes or what are your strikes? S short strikes are 70, 80. Uh, Renee, I've got the Wooga in my trade plan. That's right. Um, right above the quad 40. There's the, the back test is there. Gosh, darn it, man. Oh, we're going to highs of day. I mean, I would have had a real, I definitely would have booked 60 and out on that lunchtime. I probably would have be booking 40% on my power hour. Or I'm Same. sorry, I would have been 60 and out on power hour. I probably would have been hitting 40% on my lunchtime. This thing wants to close unchanged on the day. It's just, ah. Uh, Ten points higher, we'd close unchanged. Pretty unbelievable. After all the dancing. My Wooga target is 270. It's currently at 415. Yeah, the Wooga's still holding premium. <clears throat> oh, man. Well, I ended June plus 45,625 on TLC. Very nice. I'll put out a little video. I got my one DT I need to figure out as well. Not sure Mr. Mahomes is going to get to two bucks before the bell. They're going to hold this premium right down to the wire.
Four minutes till Wuga gets released. And you're only up 80 bucks, huh? Yeah, they're going to hold this premium. Yeah, really, really holding the premium in the Wooga. Two point seven billion sell side. Yeah. See if that's going to push it back down at all. Come on, push up, push up. I'm going to get out of my wooga here. Go to three eighty. Six hundred and forty dollar winner in the Wuga. I did four only did four contracts. I will take it. Cause on that down move, I thought it was gonna be a loser. I, th I think it's like four or five Wooga winners in a row for me. Ooh. Don't call it a Wooga streak. I don't think Mahomes is going to play today. He's sick. He's out. Well, one of my transformers still has a shot if we close below 70. It's not looking very promising, though. It's right on the edge. And the 70 butterfly trading for a dollar or less. Well, maybe... Well, maybe maybe over a buck, maybe a, it's bouncing all around.
That's not too bad, 27%. I mean, we might as well just flush for the end of the day. Everybody, I'm fine okay with that. With that? Everybody out of everything? Can we just flush yeah. to end the day? I mean, I still have a couple puts. Or I have some puts that are going to expire worthless unless they really flush. So let's go. Get down there like 20 more points. go yeah 65 butterfly only trading for a buck we gotta squeeze the bulls out here just gotta squeeze them out Make him puke. <laughs> that wasn't enough. We need, they need more. Really need to get them pooping their pants going into the weekend. AMI or Condors, two winners, five losers this week. Here we go. New lows today. Let's go. Below 60 would be max profit. Let's go. Go down to, go down to 54.30. Go 20 point move like you did earlier. <laughs> A little under three minutes. Below 60 would be beautiful. All right. That's 23 trades, TLC trades, 18 winners. I'm sorry. Hold on. 14 winners, nine losers, 61%. A little under nine grand for the week. One minute to go. Let's go. Mark down. Finish what you started. There 
you go. Keep going. Everybody pound the table. Crash, 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 crash. It's below 60. Let's stay there. Come on, close, ring the bell. <laughs> 10 seconds. Stay down, stay down, boy. Down, boy. Oh, a little mark up to close just a oh right at 60. Oh, right above. All right, I'll take it. Almost max profit. Took a two, three hundred dollars away from me, but close enough. Madam, you did the you did 5460? Oh, ouch. When did it fill? I can't believe it even got to two bucks. All right, all. Everyone have a fantastic weekend. Short week next week. Really, Monday and Tuesday are really the only real trading days. All right, all. Everyone have a fantastic weekend. Chat with you soon. Cheers.